United States signs anti-abortion declaration alongside 32 other countries. Um, the Trump administration has recently signed an anti-abortion declaration with 32 member states of the United Nations, including okay. many authoritarian regimes and flawed democracies, a move which drastically reframes U.S. foreign policy ahead of the 2020 election. The so-called Geneva Consensus Declaration on Promoting Women's Health and Strengthening the Family emphasizes that there is, quote, no international right to abortion, end quote. Other signatories include authoritarian regimes such as Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Libya, Sudan, uh, Bahrain, and the United Arab Emirates, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The document declares that both men and women should enjoy political and civil rights and economic in in opportunities, but states that, quote, in no case should abortion be promoted as a method of family planning. Why the hell not? What's wrong with it? Why is the United States signing this? Um, <laughs> a, a political strategy ahead of the election. Susanna, what's happening to your country, huh? What are you guys doing over there? What the hell are you guys doing? You guys giving legitimacy to this anti anti civil rights, anti human rights propaganda? You know uh, what? What are you guys doing? You're no. <laughs> you're poisoning the planet. You're you're gonna yes. you're gonna be used as a role model for like oh look even United States oh my God like the advanced country enlightenment human rights country United States they are even saying that abortion shouldn't be used as a, why shouldn't it? Can, can you? As a representative of the United States, Susanna, mm. okay, mm. tell us exactly, explain yourself, why, why abortion should not be used as a family plan, as a method for family planning. Um, well, I will read directly from this declaration. Um, mm. It, uh, in solidarity, we, and there's a number of things, number four, emphasize that, quote, in no case should abortion be promoted as a method of family planning, and that, quote, any measures or changes related to abortion within the health system can only be determined at the national or local level according to national legislative process. It, we reaffirm that the child needs special safeguards and care before as well as after birth, and special measure of protection and assistance should be taken on behalf of all children based on the principle of the best interest of the child. We reaffirm... Wait, wait are, we referring to the, are we referring to fetuses as children? Is that what they're doing? Before as well as after birth. Okay, so, I'm yes. talking about the abortion part. Oh, before and after birth. You're talking about, they're talking, the United States that government. The child needs safeguards and care before as well as after birth. It does, it's not the fucking child. Holy fuck, it's a fucking fetus. It's a fucking, it's a tumor. It doesn't matter. God, again, again, I repeat, hashtag Fetus lives don't matter. What the hell is wrong with you? This is the United States, the most powerful country in the world, is giving is spreading false information, spreading fucking anti-human rights propaganda around the world. They like even if guys, even if Trump doesn't win, and if Biden, you, you guys, this is like this this damage that you're doing is gonna stay forever, right? United States has endorsed this bullshit across the fucking planet right now. You know how much legitim legitimacy and authority and motivation is going to this is going to give to this whole anti anti woman rights movements all across the fucking planet. You know how much if you want to go to the Philippines or to Brazil or to Poland and you want to fight against these barbaric backward ideas, if you want to go and tell them like you guys are f fucking morons and this should be stopped, you know how easy it is for them to Point to this and be like, look at this. Even United States, ah, you want human rights? United States, United fucking States is even saying this is right. They're yeah. signed it. This is like, oh, you want the, oh, human rights? You want the, interna the, inter the international world body? Like, you, look, let's look at what this is. Let's look at what the global standard is right now. Look at, look how much legitimacy you're giving to this fucking doctrine. This is, this is, this is Christianity being, becoming standardized as, as a method of, like, as, as, as a norm for morality on the goddamn fucking planet. Whoa. This is United Damn. States exporting, this is United States exporting Christianity and promoting it across the fucking planet. Well, and allying with Islam very ex ex 
explicitly. So yeah, to, but this is because of Christianity, the, the, though. The declaration was co-sponsored by the U.S., Egypt, Hungary, Indonesia, Brazil, and Uganda. Um, the declaration I'm reading here also states, furthermore, we, the representatives of our sovereign nations, do hereby declare a mutual friendship and respect our commitment to work together to, and then um, a bunch of things. Uh, the third point being reaffirm that there is no international right to abortion, no in nor any international obligation on the part of states to finance or facilitate abortion consistent with the longstanding international consensus consensus that each nation has the sovereign right to implement programs and activities consistent with their laws and policies. So they're also building in like a um, anti-interference measure into this as well, right? So they're, um, they're saying like, well, you can't use our stance on abortion as any sort of um, bargaining chip with us, basically. Um, Hannah is saying, and Poland too in the next, uh, oh wait, PL is what, to is that Poland and nexus mm -hmm. of Uganda, we are not living in uh, USA. Um, okay, who is this? William is saying, I blame more people, uh, I, more the people in power in the US government uh, that wants to take any way women rights unless it's their mi mistress. I don't know. Yeah, but here's the, here's the thing guys. Again, when it comes to the influence the United States has and the influence Christianity has on United States politics, um, it makes Christianity a dangerous, like, you know how we always say, like, oh, when it comes to um, endorsing anti-enlightenment, barbaric, backward ideas, Islam always is ahead of everyone. The only way Christianity... Um, has any form of influence globally is because of you uh, because of the influence christianity has on u.s politics right um like this whole for example the christians in the united states i was like oh christianity could oh look christianity could also have world damaging effects because uh, it's the christians uh, in the united states who want um you know influence the united states policies in the middle east because they want uh, to bring the end of <clears throat> the end of the you know they want the world to end right uh, and you know these people have powerful lobbying groups and they're trying to influence israel palestine politics in a way that there is more conflict and because they think at some point there needs to be a war and you know the the mosque in jerusalem needs to be turned apart and the temple needs to be rebuilt and that is actually that christian dogma is actually heavily influencing united states politics in the middle east which is insane Another way that Christianity influenced world's politics through the United States is because when it comes to global warming, uh, a lot of Christian there's Christianity has a lot of influence on people's views on global warming, and that influences United States politics. And United States, has become, as as the most powerful country on the goddamn planet, has a major uh, effect on which direction uh, different policies around the world as are uh, being directed when it comes to addressing. Uh, global warming so again that's another way christianity doesn't have just a local influence but through united states is f f um, poisoning the planet and now this and now this and now this just by just by a small signature all of a sudden you set the whole world you set the whole movement for woman woman rights years 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 back you're normalizing dogma you're normalizing bullshit you're fighting against women rights and United States is exporting its Christian dogma on the, on the planet and it's giving legitimacy even though it's pretending like this has nothing to do with Christianity. People are pretending like, eh, I mean, yeah, no, Christianity is not the fucking bullshit. This is Christianity. This is religion. This is Islam and Christianity, okay? This is Judaism. This bullshit. Come, people come up with excuses <laughs> like, this is uh, nothing to do with religion. There are non-religious arguments. They said the same thing about circumcision. This is norm this, has, this whole anti-abortion bullshit Bullshit has been because of religion, and the, the is being uh, people are trying to come up with other reasons for why it makes sense, even without religion. It wouldn't have been a, a, an argument, it would not have been normal to make these points if it wasn't for religion. Okay, this is definitely Christianity, this is definitely Islam, this is definitely Judaism, and you could pretend as much that it, it's not, but it is. But the, language, Harris, so the language surrounding strengthening the family is like so obviously religiously based, especially if you live in the u.s like that's 100 percent the language they use around it but most importantly is ladies and gentlemen hara mm. sultan is here yes local sultan of sin 
<laughs> if you guys haven't already, you should go subscribe to his channel. Um, Pakistan Mulhid is his um, Urdu channel, um, which I believe that is the one that recently got demonetized um, mm. because of a strike because YouTube is moronic. Mm -hmm. But um, you guys should go to his English. You should go to yeah. Harris Sultan. That's the English channel. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a really good. Harris uh, Sultan uh, is an ex-Muslim, uh, and he in he he's in Australia. But if you want to know the situation with Islam, and especially in Pakistan, and so mm -hmm. many other things, just just trust us. Okay, go check out this channel. Harris search for Harris Sultan and subscribe to his YouTube channel. And yeah. I do want to highlight some comments here. Mm -hmm. All right, so here let's look at this. Uh, Jason is saying such a backward, such a backwards country. Well, wow, you're talking about United States. Imagine that. Uh, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even understand. By the way, guys, people who in the light table are saying Army and Susanna is not responsible for this decision. Are oh, really? Like, imagine that. Imagine people telling me that the the you guys cannot t t t tell. You guys cannot take a joke, okay? Yes, I know. Susanna is not responsible <laughs> for this policy just because she's American. You are goddamn idiots. I'm taking Anyways. it really seriously, you guys. He needs, yes. to, he needs to take that back. Yeah. Right. Uh, I don't even understand how they are even considered first world. Uh, no, I mean, come on. United States is first world. Okay, this doesn't make United States not a first world country. Okay, so many people live in poverty and e inequality with a government that stumps on their basic human rights all the time. How's that? Okay, I, whatever. Even if that's true, United States is definitely beyond first world. So let's not exaggerate. Uh, Dory saying so much for freedoms. The government should stay out of personal choices. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, Sean is saying only in a country where you have rights will you find those that want to give them up. Hey. I mean, this is a little bit too absolutist, but if you adjust for, if you take out the absolutism away from it and you don't overgeneralize, I kind of agree with this. Very interesting, but you shouldn't be this general. Um, let's see. Also, Richard saying he will sign accords with countries he he refers to as S. Oh, um, as whole countries, uh, but he won't let people from those countries enter the U.S. Um, oh, here's this. Wow, such a fine company the Uni United States find itself in. The choice is very clear. Vote Trump out. Yeah, unfortunately, if you vote him out, this this must this is going to be used forever and ever and ever as a way to legitimize legitimize anti enlightenment values. Guys, we're losing on a global global scale. Demographically, atheists and secularists are winning. We are more than we're growing faster than ever. There's more of us, but we fucking suck at politics, and this is because you idiots you every single one of you idiots that say eh, hey, we're looking like a church why are we being political why are we getting together and see creating this group and that group this is why you fucking morons okay because even though we're winning demographically everywhere on the fucking planet there are more atheists and secularists everywhere we're losing everywhere politically we're losing every religions re these religious morons are winning against us with fewer numbers because you fucking morons don't want to get political you don't want to create organizations you don't want to create communities because that reminds you like a religion as if religions have a monopoly over community and over politics and this is they want you to think this because they're gonna take it oh you don't want to play politics well that's how you lose in politics you fucking morons anyways <laughs> I love when you get that heated so much. <laughs> Although I completely agree and it is like deadly serious. Um but I I can't help but laugh when you <laughs> get like that. Yeah, and that next no, time yeah. I see somebody in the live somebody commenting like, hey, why are we getting political? I said we're atheists. This reminds me of church, blah blah blah. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Um, oh no no no! That makes that drives me absolutely crazy. Too. You guys are a cult. Yeah. Oh my god! All right. Uh, Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also. If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that 
they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 